this. This is great. So, show us what's what's um. You did something that I think a bunch of you were trying to do, and um, Brandon, finally, God, it's like clicking, right? Brandon got it. So, um, let's see what he got. Is that a better screen, James? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to just take his picture out because then it's sort of hard to see stuff because it blocks all the interesting stuff, right? Um, so, what he did really well was this. So what would you, ex what's happening down there in that more about with his tags? What's he, what's he, what's happening there? And, and how does this very much replicate what Google News does? So you got, you can visit this, did this, did this pop up yet? Under... What's it, 301? Does anybody have them, the submissions listed in 301? No. God. Oh well. I don't know why they're not populating. What's he, what would you expect to, um, you can follow this by going to that URL. His SITNET ID is um, H-E-L-S-I-N-D. And it's called hyphen Google hyphen news. Tiddlyspot.com and it's SUNY Poly Python. I'm not supposed to have to do all that, but so is there, can everybody find it? I just want you to see it. I don't know why it won't populate. You know what? I can push it to the news group. You can also get it in the, um, does everyone know how to find that spreadsheet with all the submissions? So it's, um, so you should all get that from the news group now. If you, um, but you want to take a look at his mock Google news panel and, um, So he's got a list of stories that are tagged to Donald Trump and a list of stories that are tagged to the State of the Union. And in a really simple way, by just this, he creates a little menu down on the bottom that takes him to other things. Okay, so it's straightforward and simple, but does exactly what we were looking for using tagging to right so the writing response was to tag things to, to donald trump or to state of the union the writer's behavior the writer's activity was to write tag in these angle brackets right so that's the writer activity and then the reader gets to click on the tag or touch the tag, select a story from the, and in effect, but it's built a link and then travel to that story with literally like 
one line of code, double angle brackets around tags. So that's a pretty elegant solution to what was actually a fairly complicated problem. Um, so that was pretty cool to see happen. Um, somebody else, who else, anybody else have their Google News up in front of them? Anybody else have their Google News? Did they, did you get, and there are all sorts of different ways to do this. How, did any, anybody else come up with a different strategy for fostering navigation and creating navigation among stories? Anybody else want to show theirs? I think, Marcus, you, I saw yours. Yeah, I did some of that stuff. You did something interesting, right? I think I saw yours. I don't, huh? Yeah, so, so look at the one that you submitted. So Ryan, same thing, like look at the stuff that you submitted. Do you have it in front of you? Ryan. Yeah. Does it work on your phone? So use a computer. Because <laughs> you're like that productive if you're not writing. Um, so you got, is yours on in front of you? Yeah, so go ahead and share. Do you know how to join the Zoom? Yeah, yeah so the, um, you know, there's a link to Zoom Room in the Design Right Studio that you click on. Where is it? Search for Zoom Room. So hopefully those things have shown up yet. Have the links shown up? I don't understand why they're not showing up. That's totally annoying. No, they're not on my, like, they're just not there. I just don't. understand because they're here so they're here to tag to shared exercises the 301s I get but reverse engineering Google News it's tagged to the right exercise reverse engineering Google News it should be tagged to that and I don't know, there's like um, something I'm doing wrong that I can't get them to show up. Which I, it was one of those things that worked the other day. So did you get yours up? Yeah, so go ahead and share your screen. Are you in the group? Yeah. So I'm gonna stop sharing mine. I'm really sorry about that. I don't understand why that isn't working. If you search 3.01, I'll pop up. Yeah, so you might have to just manually search it. For some reason, my code isn't working, so you should be able to get to it. Okay, I remember this. is the Kylie Jenner one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so how could you have implemented sort of the same thing that Brandon did? did um, instead of doing just... But you tagged your stories, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, and Travis Scott, right? So if you're looking at um, Marcus's, and you can get the URL, you can search for Marcus, or you can search for Exercise 3.01. Is everybody able to find the link to his? Um, and then you can look at his, and you can edit his tiddly spot. So let's see if we can put Brandon's functionality into Marcus's project, okay? Um, and if you want to bounce back and forth between the two of them to see exactly what they're doing. So how many different stories do you have? Okay. There's four, and let's look, pull one of them up. Like you've got the Kylie Jenner and what's that tagged? You can. So that's tagged to all the people that they belong to, right? And click on Kim Kardashian. And go ahead and open the Kim Kardashian 
Tiddler. That's a story. Open the Kim Kardashian Tiddler. Okay, so now I think what we're seeing is, does anybody see the beginnings of what might be a little bit of a problem with Marcus's thing here? So look at, you've got Kim Kardashian with capital K's. And look at that Kim Kardashian, look at that story that we were looking at before. That was tagged. There it is, right there. Yeah, can, you can get rid of that. Is that on mine? Yeah, that's on mine. So what's, what's a tag? What did uh, Marcus tag his story to? The lowercase, which is really annoying, I agree. So there's going to be a disconnect there. So let's change one way or the other. Let's just go one way or the other. So what, what do you think would be best? Okay, so then take all the people tags off. Yep. And the first time you have to do it manually. Okay, and let's do that for your, all four of your stories. So this gets tagged to Kylie and Travis. And once she's got the tags built, they should come up just by typing a, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> make, there it is. And that's two stories and And you can do this on his, you can do this on yours either way, but I just want you to go through, I picked this one because it was pretty straightforward and simple. There's only four things running. Okay, we got one more story to do. Okay, so now if you go to your news panel and edit the code of that. So what do we want under more about? What does Marcus want to put there? So Brandon, what did you put there? So you put in an each individual tag, okay, which is sort of annoying, right? So the objective, and we're going to leave behind the coding and the listing, the intensity of the listing that we're doing right now, but I think it'll come back. But the objective here is to um, make everything as abstract as possible. So any time that Marcus or you, Brandon, any of you as writers put in the name of a tiddler, that means that tomorrow you're going to have to change it. So as a designer writing text from this design perspective back here, you know, without content, you want it to be as abstract as possible so that the next day's news, this will filter appropriately. So, if we put Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott, and I forget the other person's name. If we put those in, then the next time he gets news, it's not gonna work. How could we, what do they all have in common? What did we give Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott? How could we group them? How could we collect them together? We could tag them all to be people. And then anytime you get more people, they show up. Somebody help me out. Who's the next one to show up here? Caitlyn Jenner. Do we have Caitlyn Jenner in here? Oh, when Caitlyn Jenner shows up tomorrow, oh, she's a person. We're going to tag her people. So what if you tag those three people as people? So go ahead and do that. Tag. Kim Kardashian, 
side of this. Yeah. Go to Kim Kardashian. Capital K Kim Kardashian. And tag Kim Kardashian as people. And do looks like they're already tagged more about, but but let's give them substantive tags. So tag the other one, Kylie. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's just to keep this straight, go to tools in the, yeah, and tag manager, which I don't think you've used before. Yeah, you can either bring it out into the menu and then click on it or just click on it either way. Okay, let's give them, let's give the people, the four people tag, let's give them a color. So color Kim Kardashian something something distinctive, yeah, and color, give them all the same color. And maybe even people, give people the same color. So then we can kind of see that they're all in the same group. And that will make your things look prettier when you get tired of that gold. Okay, and now go back to your main journal, to your main panel, and at the bottom there, edit news panel, instead of tagging more about, let's tag people. And then if you close your side panel, you don't even have to save it. Close your side panel. Then we can scroll down and see how that works without even saving it, which is kind of, so if you click on people, what are you gonna see? You're gonna see links to each of them. It would be nice if we had those as tags, right? So how could we get that? So we, it's all in one of the five things. There's linking, tagging, listing, transcluding, and templating. So we wanna list all the people and present that person as a tag. Okay, so you can go back in your code. And how do you list all the people? Yeah, list filter. So it's right in front of tag people. That's just right after that HR. You can put it afterwards either way. Put it afterwards. We'll keep the tag people there for now. Yeah, just open a new line. Hit return. Yeah, and so you're going to list the people. List the people who are tagged. List the tiddlers that are tagged with... Um, and have we list, when you hear list as a writer, I wanted those images to pop up. What do you, what do you see when you hear list as a writer? It's single bracket dollar sign list. Uh, single angle bracket, right? Not, yeah, that's a brace. So there's the third one, that one. Um, nope, not yet. That's the brace. Yeah, there it is, dollar sign list. So that's when you hear list, as a writer, you said single bracket, dollar sign list, space, filter equals, quote. No, yeah, space, filter equals, quote, and then all filters begin with a square bracket. Okay, now, so that's just like, whenever you say, oh, I'm gonna make a list, you push that code in there. And you could also put it in your clipboard buffer and go get it every time. So you don't have to retype it, which is a good idea. Um, if you want to store little frag code, men, frag, frag, code fragments in your buffer, um, it's a good idea. It's good programming practice in a way. So, and what are we, what's the filter? Um, Kyle, do you remember the filter? What, do you, what, are, what is he getting here? People. Chris, what's he looking for? How, what does he type? He's looking for all the tiddlers that are tagged with people. What does he type? Pardon? Yeah, it's well, it, all the filters that are tagged with people, it's tag square bracket people. 
close it. Um, and so back over that last one again. Just one more, one back. Okay, that's the filter. Tag, square bracket, people, square bracket. And if you want to add things to that filter, like sort or else or anything, so you can just add it there. But if you're going to close the filter, then you close the filter with the square bracket, which you had, and then quotes, angle bracket, and now we're on the next line. No, we have to, no, we're not, we are, now hit return. We're on the next line of your code. Okay, so now what do we want to do? We've got the first tiddler. We've got the Kylie Jenner tiddler. That's our current tiddler. What do we want to do now? Yeah, Eric, what do we want to see it? So we want to, we want to show the tag for Kylie Jenner. Or the right, each, make each which you don't know how to do because I haven't shown. Um, it's and I'm going to add a little technique that is sort of helpful, um, might work, but you can use it generically and let's see if it works. And that's called a macro call. Um, so we're calling a macro call tag. And you'll see this in my code. You can look for it. You can search for it. But open up with a single angle bracket and a dollar sign. And the word is macro, M-A-C-R-O, call, all one word, space. Okay, so we're going to call a macro. And we have to call the macro with a dollar sign. So it's dollar sign in the name of the macro. And the macro is called tag. The dollar sign. And then the name of the macro we're calling is called tag. So it's dollar sign tag and then space. And we have to send it a parameter. And when you look for different macros in Tiddly Week, you'll see they all come with parameters. But I'm just going to give you this one. And the parameter is, strangely enough, tag. So tag equals. And then what's the abstracted name of this Tiddler that we want to show the tags of? And this is Jillian's response, was current tiddler. Okay, so you, and you have to put that in double angle brackets. And luckily you only ever have to do this once, and then capital T tiddler, and close the double angle brackets. And then you have to close this line of code with a slash, and then an angle bracket, and then return, and then close the list uh, with ang open angle bracket slash dollar sign list. So that's a, yeah. Um, yeah, those have to be cap. And maybe that'll work, let's see. So that should give us a list, three tags. Uh, you have to save it, I think. If it doesn't work, it's working. Does it work? Scroll down. It doesn't work. Um, let me look at that. I hate this work yesterday. Shit. Scroll up. Edit your code. I did something wrong. And we tagged them all with lowercase people. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not dollar sign tag. It's dollar sign name equals tag. Dollar sign name equals tag in, in quotes. Not the dollar. Yeah, just the, the parameter. So that's a, yeah, dollar sign name equals tag quote. You know, quote tag. There. Try that. There we go. So now when you click on Kim Kardashian, it should show us all the stories that she's tagged to. So that's the same thing that Brandon did. His instincts were right, and now we abstracted it in some code for Marcus. So if they create new people, they'll show up at the bottom there. Okay. So that idea of constantly abstracting is one of the goals of those first, these first couple of weeks. And we kind of went deep into some coding stuff 
And now we're going to pull back and get with, and work a little bit with more text. Okay. Um, thanks, Marcus, for doing that. Um, and so that's a, I was so close. Dollar sign name equals, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs>